Deborah is indoors considering decorations for her new home when instead she could have been outside pursuing other interests. Back pain limits her activity. If I want to work in the yard, I know that I'm going to pay for it. But Stanford University researcher Sean Mackey has found a way for people to use their brain to control pain. What's unique about this specific experiment is that this experiment for the first time studied a group of people and taught them to learn how to control their own brain. Deep inside the brain is the cingulate cortex, a part of the brain that perceives pain. Mackey used an MRI scanner similar to this one to let people watch activity in that pain center in real time. While watching their brain, if they focused on the pain, pain center activity increased. And then when they would focus their attention away, they would see that the brain activity would go down. Mackey wrote in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences that over time, because they were able to watch their own brains, patients found many ways of controlling their brains and their pain. What's nice about this is that we demonstrated that not only people can control the area of their brain, but that with time, that control improved, which means that there was learning involved. Mackey cautions that the long-term effectiveness is not yet known, but he says the tests are a hopeful sign of the brain's ability to rein in pain. I'm Brad Closa.